Welcome to limiting reagent or limiting reactant. In chemistry, it's often impractical or undesirable to measure out exact stoichiometric quantities of substances in a reaction. So at those times where we don't measure out those precise stoichiometric amounts, we usually end up with one reactant left over and the other one entirely used up. We can make an analogy to throwing a barbecue and making hot dogs. To make a hot dog, you need one hot dog and a bun, and you can get a hot dog out of that. However, when you buy one packet of hot dogs and one packet of buns, you don't get the same number. In one packet of hot dogs, you get 10 hot dogs. But in one packet of buns, you get 8 buns. This means you can only make 8 hot dogs. And you'll have 2 hot dogs left over. In this situation, we would say that the hot dogs because they were left over, were in excess. And the buns were limiting. We were limited by the number of buns we had for how many hot dogs we can make. And we had an excess of hot dogs. That's why there were two left over. We see this same situation come up in chemical reactions. So let's take a look at that. Here we have the reaction of copper with hydrochloric acid to form copper 2 chloride and hydrogen gas. We're told that 15 grams of copper and 15 grams of hydrochloric acid are reacted. So we want to figure out which one of these is limiting. So to figure that out, which one of these is limiting, we first have to look at the balanced chemical equation. So this is balanced. We know that there are two hydrochloric acid for every one copper. So that's the mole ratio. One copper to two hydrochloric acids. Now that we've identified this, we should take our measured amounts, 15 grams of each, and change those into moles so we can see how many moles of each substance we're putting into this reaction. So 15 grams of copper, we know that one mole of copper has a mass of 63.5 grams. We can also do this with hydrochloric acid. So 15 grams of hydrochloric acid, we know that one mole of HCl has a mass of 36.5 grams. If we go ahead and solve these, we will see that we have 0.24 moles of copper and 0.41 moles of hydrochloric acid. Now at this point, I have the moles of each substance that are being reacted. These are the physical amounts of what I have. I now need to think about what this mole ratio means. This mole ratio tells me that the amount of hydrochloric acid needs to be twice as much as the amount of copper. If I now look at the moles here, I can see that I do not have twice the amount of HCl. I need 0.48 because I should have twice as much as the copper, but I don't have that. So I'm limited, I'm limited by the amount of hydrochloric acid. So this is my limiting reagent or limiting reactant. And therefore, the copper is in excess. I have more of it than I need. I won't be able to react all 0.24 moles of copper because I'm limited by the amount of hydrochloric acid that I have. And again, I know this because the mole ratio tells me that I need 0.48 moles of hydrochloric acid for 0.24 moles of copper. Now that I've identified HCl, hydrochloric acid, as being my limiting reagent, let's see what other kinds of questions I can answer. The second question asks how many grams of hydrogen gas will be produced? Well, Everything is going to be based off of my limiting reagent. So everything is based off of the hydrochloric acid because that's what's limiting the reaction. And I know that I have 0.41 moles of hydrochloric acid. We figured that out in the first problem. Once you've identified the limiting reactant or the limiting reagent, this is a fairly straightforward stoichiometric process. So I have 0.41 moles of HCl. I want to use a mole ratio to figure out how much hydrogen that's going to give me. So from the balanced chemical equation, I can see that there's one mole of hydrogen gas for every two moles of hydrochloric acid. So that's my mole ratio, 2 HCl to 1 hydrogen gas. I can now use this mole ratio to convert this 0.41 moles of HCl into the number of moles of hydrogen gas that should be produced. So here we go. I'm going to change the moles. So I know that there are two moles of HCl for every one mole of H2. That means I'm going to get 0.205 moles 
of hydrogen gas. Now remember, the question is asking for grams, grams of H2. So I've got to use the formula mass, which is 2 grams per mole for H2, to change this into the number of grams of hydrogen that's produced, which is going to be 0 0.41 grams of hydrogen gas. Another thing I can be asked about is how much of the excess reagent, the copper in this case, is left over. Now just like the last time, everything starts with a 0.41 moles of HCl. That's my limiting reagent. What I need to do is I need to figure out how much copper is going to be used up reacting with this amount of my limiting reagent. So again, here's my mole ratio. I have two moles of HCl from the balanced chemical equation for every one mole of copper. This tells me I would need 0 0.205 moles of copper is what's going to react with the HCl. But how much did I start with? I started with 15 grams of copper. So let's change that into moles. We actually looked at this in the first problem, so this 15 grams of copper is actually 0.24 moles of copper. This is how much I started with. And I also know that I had to use up 0.205 moles in the reaction. From this point, it's a simple subtraction to figure out that 0 0.035 moles of copper is left over. Now I can multiply this by the formula mass of copper, which is 63.5 grams per mole, to get the total mass of this remaining copper which ends up being 2.22 grams of copper. So of the 15 grams of copper that I started with, after the reaction has completely gone through and used up all of the limiting reagent, I'll have 2.22 grams of copper left over. That wraps up our lesson on limiting reagents or limiting reactants. Any questions you have about this lesson, write them down in your notes and bring them with you to class.